Особено е битно што денес зборуваме за темата на јавниот интерес со оглед на политичката ситуација во која се наоѓа Македонија и дебатата за интересот на обичниот граѓанин и одговорноста на политичките лидери. I recently wrote a blog for the launch of the Digital Citizenship Initiative Res Publica. In it, I focused on a phrase often used by the UK civil service. That phrase is speak truth unto power. It's kind of an unofficial motto for all British officials. The courage to speak truth to, to powerful people is in the blood of all good civil servants, even if they know that it will complicate their lives. The best politicians, on the other hand, learn to cherish civil service advice, which points out the mistakes and the flaws in their arguments. The same is true of anyone with the power to affect the lives of others, whether they work in the public interest or not. But defining the public interest is not easy. The public, by definition, means everyone living in a country. And different members of the public often want different things and often have different priorities. It's much easier to see what is not in the public's interest, in particular, where government is concerned. Misuse of tax revenue which is, after all, the public's money, is high on the list. Corruption, bad spending decisions, inefficiency, these are obvious examples. Less obvious, perhaps, is lack of transparency in government. Governments which don't let the public see how their tax money is spent are not working in the public interest. Governments which are secretive about their decision-making are not working in the public interest. What this boils down to is that governments are there to serve the people. Everyone in government, from the most junior official, right up to the prime minister and the president, is paid with money that comes from the people. They are being paid to do a job for the people. And they are using money that belongs to the people, which means that they have a responsibility to do that job as wisely, as efficiently, as effectively, and as honestly as possible. And therein lies an important part of the public interest. The best way to protect the public interest is public scrutiny. It is for the public to know and understand what is being done in their name and to use their influence. Through public scrutiny, voters can get the information they need to make informed choices about the kind of society that they want to live in and about whom they want to lead them. We recognize the importance of public scrutiny and the need to understand what is and what is not in the public interest. That's why this project is getting British support. It aims to produce a comprehensive, comparative analysis of public interest in Macedonia and the European Union. To identify how the public interest is regulated in the national and European legislative systems. And to understand how the citizens of Macedonia perceive the public interest. We may rightly hold politicians responsible for their decisions, but the public have a responsibility too. Their role is to take an interest in what is being done in their name and to make informed and coherent demands of their politicians. That isn't always easy, but a vibrant debate on the public interest is an essential ingredient of a successful democracy. We hope that through this project, more people from across Macedonian society will feel empowered to join the debate and thus help politicians make decisions that are in their interests. <laughs>